How to fix recipient address rejected, access denied error when sending email. Recipient address rejected, access denied error is an error that occurs when the recipient's email server has rejected the sender's email due to access restrictions. This can happen for various reasons, such as incorrect recipient address, DNS problem, anti-spam filter, DBEB option, or virus infection. Here are some possible solutions you can try, ensure the recipient's email address is correct. Check if you have typed the recipient's email address correctly and if it is a valid and existing address. You can also try sending a test email to another address to see if the problem is with the recipient or your email account. Do a DNS or TCP. Slash IP reset. Sometimes, a DNS or TCP slash IP issue can prevent your email from reaching the recipient's server. You can try resetting your DNS or TCP slash IP settings by following these steps. Open command prompt as administrator and type the following commands one by one. Pressing enter after each one. Netshare WinSock reset Netshare in IP reset IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash renew IP protocol configuration slash flush and restart your computer and try sending the email again. Store all the public folders on premise. If you are using Microsoft 365 and you get this error when sending emails to public folders, the problem may be caused by the directory based edge blocking, DBEB, option. This option blocks external emails that are not listed in the directory. To fix this, you need to ensure that all the public folders are hosted on-premise and not in Exchange Online. Keep folders in Exchange Online. Alternatively, you can also fix the DBEB issue by keeping all the public folders in Exchange Online and disabling the DBEB option. To do this, you need to run the following PowerShell command, set transport config directory based edge blocking enabled dollar false. This will allow external emails to reach the public folders in Exchange Online. Deactivate the directory based edge blocking, DBEB, option. If none of the above methods work, you can also try deactivating the DBEB option altogether. This will allow all external emails to pass through the mail gateway without being blocked by the directory. However, this may also increase the risk of spam and phishing emails. To deactivate the DBEB option, you need to run the following PowerShell command, set transport config directory based edge blocking enabled dollar files. This will disable the DBEB option for your entire organization. Scan your computer for viruses and malware. Sometimes, a virus or malware infection can interfere with your email sending and cause errors. You can use a reliable antivirus or anti-malware program to scan your computer for any threats and remove them if found. This may help resolve any glitches or bugs that prevent your email from being delivered.